Patriots and Chiefs are getting ready for the highly anticipated Monday night showdown in Kansas City, which is supposed to have one of the best environments in all of football, and we're excited about it. Before we get that far ahead, let's recap the week down here at Gillette Stadium, starting with the home opening victory against the Raiders, which got them no style points and certainly reinforced some of the flaws that the Patriots have that they will undoubtedly need to correct if they want to get to where they want to go this season. Yeah, we were kind of left with kind of more questions and, you know, not the best feeling about the Patriots. You, Oakland came in, traveled across country, uh, one of the worst teams in football, and it was a mighty struggle, uh, particularly for the offense. Uh, the offensive line, once again, couldn't protect the quarterback. Tom Brady was sacked twice, but he was hit about six or seven other times. It wasn't pretty, and they're going to have to fix it going forward. Uh, playing Kansas City, another great pass rushing team, and beyond that, playing the Bengals after that. It wasn't good. The, you know, the Patriots can't survive if their offensive line doesn't get their act together. Yeah, I mean, the offensive line is, is really our biggest story surrounding the team in the midweek, and that's kind of our second point. But just one quick thing before we get to that. Not only was Oakland traveling across the country and kicking off at 10 a.m. their time, they were basically stopping in New England before they went further or farther east to London. So, I mean, it's just, it, it was bizarre that the Patriots struggled with a team like this. The defense was, was good, but the offense is their bread and butter, and they can't really get to the point where they're going to be clicking if the offensive line doesn't play better. And I think nothing should be left off the table this week as they try to readjust or recalibrate or just fix whatever it is that's plaguing them. Right now, it's just simply blocking the guy in front of them. And it, it's, it, it's having widespread effects across the offense. Brady is looking at his first and, and sometimes his second read, but he's trying to get the ball out as quickly as possible. Once again, not blaming him because I wouldn't want to stand back behind those five guys if they're not blocking right now. And and it's and it's helping or it's not helping guys like Aaron Dobson, Kenbrell Tompkins, and Brandon LaFell get open in their deeper routes. Brady doesn't have time to get to the second progression or third read to, to get guys like LaFell downfield or anyone downfield. He has to go to the quickest available guy or the guy he trusts most which in most cases is Julian Edelman or Rob Gronkowski. And hopefully they, they get the fix done sooner rather than later because if not, uh, how, how many more hits can Tom Brady take? We are not sure how many he could take in Kansas City with Lamar Houston and Tamba Haley on the edge of that Chiefs defense, which I think is mildly overrated and is living a little bit too much on its reputation that it built during a 9-0 start last year and allowed 30 plus points in four of their final six games last year this year i mean they they got beat up by the titans in week one so this is this is a team that is more vulnerable than i think people are, are realizing this week and is a team that i think the patriots should handle if they can get past that that difficult road atmosphere and and the patriots are playing with some extremely loud music behind us out in the practice fields right now to prepare for kansas city but I mean, I think the bottom line is it should be a fun game. Yeah, without question. And, and Kansas City's pretty banged up, too. I mean, they, last week against the Dolphins, I, I think they didn't have seven starters or something like that. And they've been hit pretty hard on their defense. Uh, so it's going to be a difficult task. It's a daunting task having to play in, in, in Narrowhead Stadium. But, again, the Patriots are supposed to be one of the elite teams in the league. Um, they should be able to get it going. We'll see. I think I said Lamar Houston. It's Justin, Justin Houston. Houston. Yeah. Regardless, it's an edge rusher, a guy who's going to try to take Tom Brady's head off. And you don't want Nate Solder claiming that, Houston, we have a problem in <laughs> Kansas City, regardless of which guy it is attacking Tom Brady. So anyway, we'll, we'll see how the Patriots fare on Monday night. Of course, you can read all of our coverage in the Boston Herald on bostonherald.com and the Blitz blog and every other medium that, that we represent. Thank you.